Hello, sweet preschool friends. I'm so glad that you get to be with me today for circle time. I know our circle time might look a little bit different than it usually does, but you're still here and I'm still here and we still get to have circle time together. And that makes me so incredibly happy. All right, friends, we are going to get started the way we always get started. We're going to sing our good morning song, but first we have to talk for a little bit. We just barely today said goodbye to March, goodbye March, and hello to a brand new month. Does anyone know what that month's name is? It starts with the letter A, and it sounds like this, April, can you finish it for me? April, very good job. Okay, now we might be a little rusty, but I think you guys still remember how to be the very best cheerleaders. We'll practice one time, and then we'll do it for real the second time, okay? So here we go. This is our practice round. We're going to cheer the month April. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. April, April, April. Yay! Quiet. <gasps> did you guys remember to be quiet at the end? You did. Very good job, friends. All right. In April, we get to celebrate one of Miss Trisha's favorite holidays. I'll give you a few hints. You see if you can guess it. It has a bunny who usually brings a basket. And sometimes, if you're really, really good, he fills it with treats. And maybe, whoops, some small toys like sidewalk chalk or bubbles. And sometimes, he even leaves a few eggs around for us to find. Does anyone know what holiday we celebrate in April? Think for a minute. If you said Easter, you're right, friends. We get to celebrate Easter this month, pretty soon in just a couple weeks. So today for our good morning song, you get to choose. Either you're a hopping bunny or you're a rolling egg. Think about which one you want to be. Miss Trisha is going to be a rolling egg today, and I'm gonna roll fast. So if you're a bunny, you're gonna hop fast, and if you're pretending to be an egg, you're going to roll fast, all right? Let's sing our good morning song on the count of three. Here we go, friends. One, two, three. Good morning to you, and how do you do slow? I'm happy to see you. Good morning to you. Very good job, friends. I'm so glad you still remembered our good morning song. All right. Now, before we get into our circle time today, we've got to get ready, our brains ready to learn. And we always talk about how one way we can get our brains ready to learn is by moving our bodies, right? We get our blood flowing, our brains wake up, and they say, oh, it's time to learn. So today, you guys usually get to throw this. But Miss Trish is going to throw it today. First, can you tell me, are these letters or numbers? If you said numbers, you're correct. Very good job. What do we do with numbers? Do we sing our numbers? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Or do we count our numbers? One, two, three, four. If you said count, you're right. Very good job, friends. Okay, I'm going to throw the ball, we'll say the number, and then we'll pick an exercise to wake up our brains, okay? Here we go. First time. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty close, but I'm going to say it's this one. It's a big number, and if we don't know it, we can always start at one and count until we reach it. Let's try that, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What number is this? Nine. Very good job. Okay, my first exercise. Ouch, I hit myself in the head. My first exercise is going to be nine jumping jacks. Okay, so I need you to stand up. We're going to count to nine. Nine is our magic number. When we hear it, our brain says, whoop, time to stop. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. Remember, Miss Trisha likes to hear you count your numbers, okay? So make sure you're counting with me. We're going to throw the ball one more time. Here we go. Whoop! That was 
a bad throw. Ready? It's one of my favorite numbers, friends. He has a hat, a neck, and a big, huge belly. What number is he? Number five. Very good job. All right, friends. This time we have to stand up again. You're going to jump as high as you can. Try to reach your ceiling five times, okay? Here we go. Five's our magic number. On your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, friends. Okay, I think our brains are awake. Are your brains awake? Mine are. Mine is, I should say. All right. Now that our bodies are ready to learn, we're going to get our minds ready to learn. And I want you guys to teach these affirmations to your mom and your dad and your brother and your sister and whoever's around, okay? And they can say it with us. So on the count of three, ready, here we go. Say, I am loved, I am wonderful, I'm creative, I am kind, I love my body and my mind, loud. I am strong, I work hard, I try my best to do my part. I just try a different way, as loud as you can, friends. I am loved. I am wonderful. Very good job, friends. You are pretty wonderful. All right, the next thing that we get to do, you get to show your moms and dads how good you are at saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm gonna call on one student they get to stand up wherever they are watching this and they get to be our pledge leader today, okay? So I'm gonna call on Wesley. Wesley, wherever you are, stand up, say please stand and join me in the pledge. Getting so good at that. At the beginning of the year, Miss Trisha had to help you, but I don't anymore because you're so incredibly smart. All right, friends, this is one of Miss Trisha's favorite parts of Circle Time, our days of the week. You guys were getting so good at this song before we left, and I think you're probably still pretty good at it. So remember, Miss Trisha puts the star on the day. We sing it. We lock the answer in our brain, and on the count of three, we say what day it is. All right? You guys remember how? Okay, here we go. Yellow is our day today, so we're going to stop singing when we reach the yellow star, or the yellow square. All right, here we go. Sing really quiet and ready in our brains. Here we go. Lock it in. On the count of three, let's chill it out. What day of the week is it? One, two, three, Tuesday. Very good job, my friends. It is Tuesday today, the one, two, third day of the week. Okay, let's get tricky here. Miss Trisha really has missed tricking you guys a lot. So, uh, let's see, what day was yesterday? Hmm, let's sing it quiet. Lock it in on the count of three. Ready? Sunday, Monday. Lock it in. What day was yesterday? One, two, three, Monday. You guys are getting so smart, but I still think I can trick you. I'm gonna trick you. I'm gonna trick you. Hmm. What day will tomorrow be? Sing it quiet. Lock it in. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Wednesday! Oh my goodness. I can never trick you. You guys are just too smart for me. All right. For this next part, I need you guys to stand up wherever you are, go to a window, and look outside. I want you to tell me 
what you see outside. I'm gonna ask you some weather questions and you can tell Miss Trisha, you can yell it at the screen, I can hear you say, yes it is or no, it is not, okay? So my first weather question for you is going to be, is it snowy? Go look outside your window or open your door. Tell me, yes, it is snowy or no, it is not. Okay, hmm. My second question for you is, is it rainy? Go look out the window. Tell Miss Trisha, yes, it is rainy or no, it is not. Hmm, okay, good, good. Okay, next, my last weather question for the day is going to be, is it sunny? Tell me, yes, it is sunny or no, it is not. Very good job, my friends. Okay, it might be sunny outside, it might not be, but we want the sun to come out so we can play, right? So we can play outside. So we're going to get our great big suns out and we're going to sing as loud as we can so Mr. Sun can hear us and he'll stay out and play all day long. Are you ready? Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Please shine down on me. Good job, friends. Give me a high five. Boom, boom, boom. How about a fist bump? Ready? Boom, ba la 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 la. You guys are my favorite. All right, friends. Today we get to learn about a new letter. This is one of Miss Trisha's favorite letters. It's at the end of the alphabet, and my first hint is it says wa wa wa. Let me show you the letter, and if you know it, you can yell it out. And if not, you can listen for Miss Trisha to say its name. Does anyone know what letter this is? Hmm. Is it U? No. Is it M? No. Is it W? Yes! This is the letter W, friends. And just like with every letter we've learned this year, we have a big letter and a small letter. These two look the same, just one is big and one is small. Very good job. All right, the letter W says wah, wah, wah. Let me hear that. Good, let's see. Let's say it loud. Ready? Wah, wah, wah. Let's clap it this time. Ready? Wah, wah, wah. Let's stop it. Ready? Wah, wah, wah. W says wah. Very good job. All right. A couple of words today. Instead of my letter llama, because we're, pra we're um, celebrating Easter, Pretty soon, Miss Trisha put our letters in a basket today, okay? Our words in a basket. So all of these words say wah and start with what letter? W. Very good job. Okay, you tell me if you know what this picture is. What is this, friends? Good. It's a wah, wah, witch. <gasps> We know a song about a witch, don't we? Hmm, we learned it at Halloween time. Let's see if you can remember it. It goes like this. I'm a mean old witch with a hat. And I ride on my broom with my cat. My nose is pointy and my chin is too. And you better watch out or I might get you. I'm a mean old witch with a hat. Boo! Very good job, friends. Witch starts with what letter? W. Very good. Okay, let's see what else Miss Trisha has in her basket today. Hmm. Let's see if we... Ooh, we're going to do that one last, I think. Let's pull out this one. You tell me if you know what this fruit is called. What? What? Watermelon. Good job, friends. Tell me what letter watermelon starts with. W. Very good. You guys are so, so smart. All right, our last one. Actually, we have two more. 
Let's see if you know what this picture of. Oh, Miss, Miss Trisha's printer was running out of ink, but I still think you can tell. What is that? What animal is that? Good. It's a wa wa well. What letter does well start with? W. Very good. Okay, my last one is not in my basket. It's actually on my wrist. It tells us time. Who knows what this is called? A wa wa watch. And watch starts with W. You guys are so awesome. I think this time you can give me another fist bump. Boom. La 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 la. You guys are great. Okay, friends. Before we do our last thing, we're going, to, we're going to read an Easter book next. But before we do that, we're going to play a quick game of I Spy the Letter W, okay? So I have a few of my friends' names. I couldn't write all of your names down because that would be a lot. So I chose one from each class, okay? So if you spy the letter W, it can be a big W or a small W. If you spy it, you yell out, I spy the letter W. Okay, let's start with my friend, Wesley. Does anyone see a W in Wesley's name? You do? Hmm. Can you tell Miss Trisha where you see the W? You tell me to stop when I get to the W, okay? Is this the W? No. Is this the W? No. What about this? Oh, yeah, I found the W. Is it a big W or a small W? Good. Wesley's name starts with a big W. Good job, Wesley. Okay, my next friend is Emerson. Can you see? I hope you guys can see that. Let's look at Emerson's letters. Do Does anyone see the letter W? Hmm. I don't see it. Miss Emerson does not have a W in her name. What about my friend Maxwell? Hmm, I hear the whoa, whoa. When I say Maxwell, I hear it. Max, whoa, whoa, well. <gasps> that gives my ears a clue that there's a W in his name. All right, let you tell me which one. Is this the W? No. Is this the W? No. Is this the W? Yeah! Miss Trisha found the W. And this time, is it big or small? If you guess small, you're very right. Maxwell has a small W in his name. All right, my last friend today is Austin. Hmm. Listen to Austin's name and see if you hear what. Austin. I didn't hear it, so that means Austin probably doesn't have a W in his name. A-U-S-T-I-N. No W. That's okay, Austin. You're still pretty great. All right, friends. We learned the letter W today. Letter W says what for what. Very good. You're going to remember that. Before we go, Miss Trisha is going to read you an Easter an Easter story with one of my favorite characters. Who is this guy? Say hi to Pete the cat. Say hi, Pete. Pete is one of my favorite characters in any book. I love all of his books so much. And I found this at the store and I thought you guys might like it. It's called Pete the Cat and the Five Little Bunnies. All right, here we go. Show your parents and Miss Trisha how you sit when we read a story. We sit crisscross, applesauce, gophers in the hole, and we catch our bubbles on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, good job. All right, here we go, friends. One night, Pete was bunny sitting five little bunnies. One, two, three, four, five. When all of the sudden, five little bunnies were hopping on the bed. One fell off and bonked his head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. Okay, we had five. One fell off. How many do we have left now? Hmm, what number is that? Good. Four little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off 
and bonked his head. Pete called the doctor, and the doctor said, say it with me, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. Oh no, look, they look pretty sad, don't they? Yes, they do. All right, we had four. Two fell, or one fell off. How many is left? One, two, three. Here we go. Three little bunnies hopping on the bed. <gasps> one fell off and bonked his head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. Oh, look, this one has a little eye patch. Oh no. Oh no, how many do we have left now? What number is this? Two, very good job. Two little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and oh, bonked his head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. Oh my goodness, those bunnies are not listening to Pete, are they? One little bunny hopping on the bed. One fell off and you guessed it, he bumped his head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, put those bunnies straight to bed. Let's count our bunnies and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. So Pete and the five little bunnies hopped right into bed. <laughs> All right, friends, who did Pete call in that story? Did he call his mom, his dad, or the doctor? Yes, Pete called the doctor. And what did the doctor say? No more bunnies jumping on the bed. Did they listen? They didn't listen very good. You guys are way better listeners than these bunnies. All right, friends, before we go today, we get to sing our goodbye song. And you guys get to choose how you want to say goodbye to Miss Trisha today. So you can give hugs, air hugs. You can give air high fives, a fist bump, or you can shake hands, okay? So you choose. Miss Trisha's going to give air high fives today. But you can do whatever you want. All right, here we go. This is the way we say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. This is the way we say goodbye at preschool every day. We give Miss Trish an air high five, boom. An air high five, boom, boom. An air high five, boom. We give Miss Trish an air high five, boom. And then we wave goodbye. I hope you guys have so much fun learning with your learning packets. We have our egg activity, our peep Play-Doh activity, and tons of learning pages. Parents, if you have any questions or if I can help in any way, just let me know. I'll, I'll be glad to help. I miss you guys. I hope you're having a fabulous day. We'll see you on Thursday for Circle Time. Bye-bye.